Welcome back to part 2 of the beginner's guide for creating player input. So I want to create a simple object that we can use as our character. So I'm going to drag out this box and I'm going to make a little post out of it. You could use a sphere or something or whatever. I'm just going to leave it as that. And now we need to create a static mesh out of this post. So we'll drop down this arrow and click create static mesh. I'm just going to leave it as that, hit enter. We've got some bad settings going on here. We can open the static mesh up and remove that by scrolling down to light map resolution and changing that to 4 and now it's back to normal okay so we need to add this to our player blueprint so we'll, we'll open up our blueprint come to components and with our mesh selected we can drop down the component and it knows we've got it selected so we can add the static mesh here and I'm going to scale this down so it fits in the uh, capsule a bit better. Now the capsule is basically stopping us from walking through walls. It just collides with objects in the world. So if I close this now and click play, you can see my shadow is now this object. And I'm moving around, looking around and jumping as this object. Okay, so we want to see the object. So let's create a camera so it's like third person. We'll come to components, add component, camera, move the camera back a bit, click play, and you can see we can see the object and look around and move around. Okay, so let's look at a scenario of a side scroller. To do that, we can open up the player blueprint and come to the graph and we want to remove the mouse input and we want to remove the ability to move forwards and backwards we only want to move from side to side so let's remove this here and we can move the camera back a bit further so we've got more of a wider field of view so I can't move the mouse to move the camera I can't move forwards and backwards I can only move left and right and we can jump still. So it's a very basic side scroller template right there. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this beginner's guide. Make sure you stay subscribed for any future tutorials. Thanks for checking it out. Cheers guys.